Greetings, everyone. So we finally got a nice break in the weather. We're supposed to have four days of sunshine or partly cloudy days. So I'm going to take a break from doing the fascia boards that I'm boxing in the eaves that Carrie and I have been working on. So I can install the tongue and groove over this other section of the portico tray. Um, those beams on this side of the house are getting a lot of sun and I'm really afraid that they're going to bleach out and it'll look different than the half that we already have done that's kind of been covered by the shade during uh, most of the time. So I'm going to get started on uh, getting that tongue and groove installed. The first thing I did was put a couple of blocks sticking up on the ends an inch and a half out just so I can keep the uh, that first row straight um, since I'm working by myself I figure I need a helping hand there and my first cut is 16 feet seven and a half inches so let's go do that Oh, you guys are in the way. gonna go double check. I think they started with the groove downhill over there. Yep, that's what they did, so I'll do this side to match. I am using a three and one quarter inch galvanized nail to nail these down. I have to move the lift over here so I can get up on the roof and uh, nail those in now. All right, let's get the next measurement. So the next board I'm going to put in, I'm going to see if I can find one that's real close to ending up here so I can stagger my joints. So if I can get one where I don't have much drop and I can uh, break it there or I'll break it on this next one. So let's see what those measurements are and I'll go find some. 
So it's 13.7 to that one, and it's 10.7 to that one. So let's go see what kind of boards we have. So I couldn't find anything good to start my stagger going that way. I have 18 footers, so I'm gonna see where if I uh, start an 18 down there, where it would land, and maybe that'll give me uh, a better stagger, or uh, at least I could use a longer piece. I don't wanna cut that 18 footer down. So 17 feet and three quarters of an inch will get me to that one right there. So I'm gonna go with that, and I'll only have a less than a foot drop there, and then uh, I'll, I'll go the rest of the way. Uh, and maybe I'll two-piece that, because I have some eight-footers in there, so maybe I can make something up in there with those. So a couple things I have to help me with the install is, uh, one, I got a chunk of the block that was cut off. That way, if I need to put it on there, I can hammer that tongue groove tight. And then the other thing I have is a chisel. And you can take your chisel, tap it in, and use it as a lever to also push the tongue and groove into place. All right, so that chisel works pretty good. And you can see this board's already working out pretty good, so I'll, uh, I'll really have to lay on the chisel down there to straighten that out. Greetings everyone. So it is day three of doing the tongue and groove on the portico tray. Uh, you can see yesterday where we left off. Um, Carrie helped me yesterday. She was great cutting the boards for me. Uh, that saved me a ton of time. And uh, once we knew what the, the measurements were going to be and they were constant, um, she just went to town cutting boards and stacking them for me and uh, I'll show you what uh, she left me at the end of the day so I get started today and then once I run out of those I'll have to go back to cutting my own so um, best wife ever and uh, let's get going so basically what she set up was the boards on this side start on this end of the roof and work that way. And the boards on this side start over on the house side and work that way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get those in and see how close that gets me to the top. And the reason she stopped there was... Um, those were all 18 footers that she was cutting from and the next size up that we have is 20 and I just need to get what the new measurements would be and so uh, she cut up all the 18 footers because we were using like 17 feet 7 inches and 
uh, another measurement was just a little over 17 feet so um, it was nice not having a lot of waste so I'll have to see how it works out with the 20 footers hopefully I can uh, make it to where we're losing you know we're only dropping maybe a foot or less off the end of the boards all right down to the last two rows let's get them in That last board was probably the worst one to put in there. That really gave me some trouble because it had a, kind of a hook in it and it was really fighting me, uh, especially because I have these metal straps that go up and over to hold the rafters and uh, trying to get those in the, the tongue and groove and is hanging on the nails. and That was not fun. I wish it would have went in as easy as that one. All right, let's get this nailed off and go take a look underneath. Tomorrow I have Wyatt helping me. So we'll go ahead and tar paper that. It's getting pretty late in the day, and of course, my Golden State Warriors are on, so we're gonna wrap this up. I'll go downstairs and we'll get a shot of the uh, what it looks from underneath. All right, well, there is the finished product of the tongue and groove. I wanna thank you guys for joining us on that journey. And I really missed Carrie's help today. She had to travel out of town for work. So everything was much more difficult today. Having her here yesterday, making all those cuts and running the boards over to me, just saved a ton of work for me. So I wanna thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one.